All right, so we are ready to move on to working with our data. All right, in our last video, we finished our activity five. All right, so we're gonna start by freezing our row. Our row. All right, you can freeze your rows or your columns, okay, specifically the head of row. This is helpful if you want to see certain rows or columns all the time in your worksheet while scrolling through your data. All right, everything above or to the left of the cell or the row column or the column selected will be frozen. All right, so I want to freeze my top row here. All right, and if we go to our view tab in our ribbon and click here where it says freeze panes and freeze the top row. All right, before I do that, I just wanna show you, so as you can see, as I scroll down, let's say if I'm scrolling and I have a lot of data and I maybe I forgot what my header row was, okay? All right, come up here, we're in our view tab, click on freeze panes where it says freeze the top row. All right, and now as I scroll, as you can see, my header row follows me no matter how far I scroll down, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unfreeze that. So that is an example of freezing panes. All right, and we're gonna talk about sorting and filtering data. All right, so as you can see, we have a lot of data here, right? So when you have a spreadsheet that contains a lot of data, you may want to sort or filter it in order to locate information more quickly. Okay, we can easily sort numerically or alphabetically. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do in my header row here, I'm going to go to my home group and here in the editing group where it says sort and filter, I'm going to first add a filter, okay? All right, so over here in our first column, we have dates. Let's say I want to sort it. So I'm gonna click on the arrow, sort from oldest to newest. Okay, so now our dates are in order from the oldest date to the newest date. I can also, where here where it says newest to oldest, okay? So now, as you can see, we have our, well, hold on, we have our, I guess, so our newer dates first, and then we have, it's sorting from our newest to our oldest, okay? You can do this for your other columns as well. I'm just picking date to sort, just to show you an example. All right, um, now, what I wanna show you is how to, I'm going to take this I'm gonna put it back to normal. So I'm just going to undo. I'm gonna make this column a little bit wider, okay? All right, so now, I guess, so now what I'm going to do is show you what is we call a custom sort, okay? So what I'm going to do is we need to first highlight our range of cells, okay? All right, so now we are going to go to our data tab and here in a sort and filter group where it says sort, go ahead and click. All right, so we have headers, so make sure this is checked, okay? So if it's unchecked, if you don't include, if, if it's unchecked, it will include the date, staff, and hours work inside your sorting, and we don't want that, so make sure you check my data has headers. All right, so we're gonna first sort by the staff name, okay? We want that in A to Z order. All right, next, we're gonna add a level. <clears throat> All right, and so now we're going to then sort by the date from oldest to newest. And then finally, add another level, and we're going to sort by the hours worked, smallest to largest. So this is a priority system. First, it's going to sort by staff from A to Z. Then it's going to sort by the date from oldest to newest, then it's going to sort by hours work from largest to smallest. And when we click OK, okay, do you see how our data has been sorted? All right, so as you can see, we have our staff in ABC order. All right, then we have the dates in order. All right, then by the hours work. So again, when you custom sort and you add levels, it's a priority system. All right, and so that was working with our data. And in our next video, we're going to move on to our next activity.